Hey, what's going on? I'm your co-host, Wonderful Will of the Broccoli Ain't the Green Show. Today is a great day. It's a hot day, but it's a good day. Hope everybody doing a, doing well. Just getting ready for the work week. I know that time is coming up. I know the feeling. But I just want to talk about something briefly. There's something been on my mind. And that is the spirit of forgiveness. And I'm pretty sure, you know, with the with the, the, the mass shooting incidents in Dayton, Ohio and El, pa- El Paso, Texas and in the victims uh, going through the victims families, they going through their loss, they suffer from their loss. But and I really found them to be admiring because a lot of them have forgave that uh, have forgave that shooter. And and I just was thinking to myself, could I be able to forgive that guy? Because that is something I that's that is something I've uh, been struggling with for a long time, forgiveness. And but I can say, from a young adult all the way up to as an older adult, I've made some progress. But I'm still ain't I'm not there. But I've made some progress. And I just commend those people who's able to have a forgiving heart like that. But in a kind of way, I envy them. I really do. Because something like that, of that multitude, I can't say that I would be able to do that. I don't know. And hopefully I, I won't be in that position, be tested that way. But I just really... Uh, admire those people who's willing to forgive that guy even though he shows no remorse but it's just how you rise above nonsense but struggling I've, like I said I've been struggling with uh, forgiveness and always you know all the time especially when I was in high school you know how you I was one of those kids who who wasn't as popular. I was very quiet, very shy. And you know, you have some uh, other students who like to mess with you and pick on you and all that kind of things. But you know, as I got, I've gotten older. Just like I, when I went to college, I came. When I finished college, I graduated. And you know, you see some, you get to see some of your your classmate you went to school with and and I've seen some who I really couldn't stand during the time I was in high school and at that time just seeing looking at them looking at them those feelings just came back just like it's an unsettling feeling I had and I really didn't have anything to say to them and but I just did the fake hey how you doing um, everything's good just trying to move on with my life and but I really didn't have a care to even see them but but uh I've been struggling with that but I can say some more you know another 10 15 years go by I see the same people again but I look at them differently because they've changed and some of the, their changes took in a bad way to the point where, you know, I'm like, I feel bad for them because I, that's, I guess that kind of taught me how to forgive them for making my life hell because I felt like they took something from me as a kid. I didn't get a chance to experience, you know, I didn't have that type of support from like you know back then but you know if we you know we as we get older we learn from things and but i learned too fast I've, but i did forgive the tormentors i did I, I forgave them man it's nothing if i see them now it's just nothing but a, a handshake and a hug how's life been going how's the family it's like uh, it's water on the bridge i'm done with that and i've from you know i can say it, it feels good to let that hate go but still, I, I've, I've been 
I've been challenged with that. And one of those experiences at my place of employment, because I've, you know, it's, it's really disturbing to have enemies that you didn't offend that you haven't done anything to, but they consider you as, they consider you as an enemy. And I realized I have enemies because I almost lost my job dealing with one. During the time we've worked together and I've never had any problems, the, our, the our encounters was pretty civil. You know, it was not like we were best friends, but it was, it was civil. It was pleasant. It was cordial. So, you know, it's nothing like no hate there, none whatsoever. But all of a sudden something happened where I got in trouble and I almost lost my job because I got placed on uh, on probation and I couldn't afford to get in any more trouble during, especially during that, that probation period and you know when I look at and I look back at that and I start reflecting like what did I do to this person what did I do to this person I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out I know I didn't do anything wrong, but this person all just out of the blue decide to hurt me. And I, I, I'm telling you, I was filled with so much rage and I had some thoughts in my mind that I never thought of. And I can't tell you what I was thinking, but I'm telling you, it, it scared me. That's how I was feeling because I confronted this person and I told this person, why are you doing this to me? What have I done to you? I've never done anything to you. I never said anything to you. I never stabbed, you know, did something to stab you in your back. Never. I've never done anything to you. And that person was, of course, is in a uh, in a super supervisor uh, position. So, you know, they have more authority. They see they have the authority to discipline you if you in violation of any, you know, your policies. Your, uh, your place of employment policies. But I went ahead and I, excuse me, I, I confronted him and I said, why do you do that? You know, I have a child who depends on my income, man. I have a child who depends on me. And I've been here X amount of years. Does that count for something? What have I done? To you and of course that person just looked at me as what are you talking about I mean just cold it was just I, I looked at this person he just just cold it just the look in his face it was cold he was cold hearted it's a he I know I've tried not to to identify the gender but you know it, that was kind of difficult but yeah that person is a he uh, I'm telling you, I when I went home, I I prayed something bad to happen to him. After I come down, I was like, "Oh my God, what did I do?" Because sometimes you not if you don't if you're not uh, careful what you say, you got to be well. Let me let me rephrase that. You have to be careful what you say because sometimes it comes true and then you have to live with that because I, I realized this man has a child and his child hasn't done anything to me but even though he tried to ruin me but this 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 child hasn't done anything to me so I'm wishing something wishing harm to this person's father it took me a while I had to pray I prayed and I prayed and I prayed um, I looked up some some scriptures in the Bible about forgiveness. I know it's in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, and you will see it on on the screen. The, uh, those two Bible verses in Matthew that talk, speaks about forgiveness, and that brings some comfort to me. And I'm telling you, it's a, it's it's hard, but I have to say I'm a work in progress, and and I'm working in a good way so I'm heading 
in the in the right direction. So I, don't know, I just wanted to share that with you all. The, the, uh, share that experience with you, and you know, in the comment section, one of you tell me your experience and tell me how you cope with with it. And you know, if you for those who the non-believers and who don't believe in God, also just tell me what your experience. But I use the Bible for comfort because sometimes when I'm looking for answers. A lot of my answers been answered in the Bible. But if you just share me, share what you have to say. Tell me what you experienced and how did you cope with it and how you was able to rise above it if you did. And if you're going through it, hey, just 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 have a dialogue. Let's talk about it. Because sometimes talking about things and getting it out of the system, it makes it takes a lot of that pressure off your chest. So let's do this. So I hope everybody have a great week and take care of yourselves. Be vigilant. Be careful out there because I know we, we have some challenges in our country today, but but I do believe things will get better because we don't have no way on the direction we can have is going up. So we so that's good news. So everybody take care of yourself and always remember God is love. Love is God and we love you. Peace.